So the goals of this test is that we're going to use ChatGPT Plus and Perplexity Pro to write a 2000 word article on the same subject. We want to test the SEO, search engine optimization, and the EEAT, which is expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. And we're going to generate the content and test it without making any modifications. So as I said, both these platforms have free versions, but the, the premium versions give you these additional features. So on ChatGPT Plus, you get access to GPT-4, GPT-4.0, and GPT-3.5, which is the old one. You also get access to data analysis. You can upload files, so you can like, upload PDFs and documents, um, a vision, at, and most importantly, you can browse the web on ChatGPT+. You also get DALI image generation, and the most exciting part of ChatGPT Plus is you get access to custom GPTs. So GPTs or are like these engines that other people have built that you can use. And the cost of this is 20 bucks a month. And with Perplexity AI Pro, you get access to a different suite of um, AI models. So you get access to the Sonar Large 32K, the GPT-40, the GPT-4 Turbo, Claude 3 Sonnet, and Claude 3 Opus. You also get um, access to more image generation platforms. So you get Playground version 2.5, Dolly 3, and Stable Diffusion XL. You also get access to a Discord server where you can talk to other users, You get um, and you get some support via chat, email, and phone. And the cost is also $20 a month. So let's jump into the test. Check the video description for a link to this Google Doc where I will have these prompts that you can use when you're generating your own article. Um, but for our article, we're going to focus on the keyword of, for the topic of the best tents for camping with dogs. So I want to make a top 10 best of um, article that features like uh, 10 different tents that are good for camping with your dog. Here's a link of the prompt I'm going to use. I want the, the platform to give me, a, to include in their writing, a list of the best tent, 10 tent models for camping with dogs. And I want it to, them to include links to the product pages and to write a 2000 word essay on this subject. I want to make sure they include in the writing insights from leading experts in dogs, camping, and pet friendly camping, firsthand experiences from pet owners who camp with dogs, and tent customer opinions and feedbacks on what good and bad, and useful tips and insights. I also want them to give me an SEO title and meta description, two images, and to use SEO keywords, NLP terms, and easy to understand language. And so I'm going to copy and paste this entire prompt into the different platforms to generate the essay or the, you know, the blog article. Let's start with ChatGPT. I'm just gonna copy this little chunk. And what you do in ChatGPT, just to walk through this, is you have access to this section called Explore GPTs or GPTs. And this is where you discover and create custom versions of ChatGPT that combine instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. So you can make your own GPTs, and you can also use others' GPTs. So I found a GPT, which is called Fully SEO Optimized Article, including FAQs. And the reason I'm using this one is it's a popular one. Um, it has two, 200,000 conversations. It ranks 4.2 out of five stars, and it has more than a thousand ratings. I'm gonna use the GPT-40 AI model and the DALI, because that's the only option I have in ChatGPT+. So to go back over, I'm just gonna drop this entire block of instructions in here and generate the article. Now the article is generating. We'll give it a few seconds. The article is complete and on the first glance it looks to have followed my instructions pretty well. Um, it's kind of hit all the key details that I asked it to. It gave me a list of different uh, 10 different specific tent models and it also got gave me like customer opinions etc pros and cons, useful tips, additional resources, FAQs. The only thing it did not give me was the were the other two images that I asked for. That's okay because I can use something else in ChatGPT to generate the images. So we're going to leave this for now and now let's go over to Perplexity and generate the same article there. In Perplexity we're going to change things up a little bit. Um, we're going to use the Sonar Large 32K AI model. I've never used this AI model before and we're going to use the Playground version, version 2.5 to generate an image and we're gonna just drop in the same exact prompt. In Perplexity, when you're using Pro, you just have to make sure that this toggle is on. So you just click the Pro toggle, and I'm just gonna paste in my prompt and generate the article. So now it's doing its research and it's going through the process of getting all the data that it needs to write the article. 
One of my favorite aspects of Perplexity, and you get this in both the free and the pro version, is it tells you at every step where exactly where it's getting its information. And I really like that because you can pop over to these articles and check them out to make sure that they are valid sources. Okay, so Perplexity also finished writing its article. And once again, it seems to have really followed my instructions to a T. Um, it's going to be interesting to compare the different tents that both recommend it because it seems to have re uh, recommended some different tents. It's also kind of giving me information in a different way than ChatGPT, so this is going to be really cool. So now that I have both articles, oh by the way, Perplexity also did not automatically generate my AI image. So after we score these articles and just rate their SEO and their EEAT, we'll go back and generate the images at the end. All right, so let's start with ChatGPT. We're gonna test first the SEO and then the EEAT. And we're gonna use NeuronWriter. NeuronWriter is a SEO optimization platform and it allows you to obviously improve your SEO, but also to integrate NLP, which is natural language processing terms in your writing. So for example, for best tent camping with dogs, NeuronWriter, I've already copied and pasted the ChatGPT article in here. And NeuronWriter generates a list of common terms that people use when they are researching the subject or researching related subjects. And it also gives you recommendations for, you know, terms to use, also headings um, throughout your article. Dune Writer analyzes the top 30 ranking websites on this subject in Google, and it creates a, basically like a, a recommendation report for you, what you should do to compete with the top 30 articles in Google. Neuron Writer also gives you an SEO score. So we have an SEO score of 38, and this is again, this is ranked out of 100. And the top of the top like 10 ranking articles on this subject in Google, the number one article has an SEO score of 79. And the average SEO score of the top 10 websites is 54. So we're pretty far down the list. We would definitely want to spend time optimizing that score. So now let's look at the EAT. We're going to use ChatGPT to rate, to basically rate the Google EEAT score. I asked it to review the article and tell me the Google EEAT score. And I copied and pasted the article below. So the overall score that it's giving me is, and this is a score from zero to 10. Um, in terms of experience, that's the first E. It's giving me a seven out of 10. Expertise is the second E, and that's an eight out of 10. Authoritativeness, seven out of 10. And trustworthiness is six out of 10. Recommendations for improvement for experience include more detailed firsthand stories from a diverse dog owners and their camping experiences. Expertise incorporate insights from multiple experts in veterinary care and dog behavior. Authoritativeness provide more information about the dog's uh, about the author's credentials and background. And then trustworthiness clearly disclose any affiliate links or sponsorships. Uh, so those are a few recommendations. Overall, not not a bad EEAT score. So now let's move on to um, to rank the perplexity. Here's my perplexity article, and we're going to use the same Neuron Writer platform and settings to score the perplexity. So I'm just going to delete the ChatGPT article and use the same framework to rate perplexity. So one thing I noticed off the bat is that perplexity formatted my headers correctly. ChatGPT, the GPT I used, did not do this. Right off the bat, because the headers are already converted to what they should be, we have a score of 47. Um, whereas in, when we first looked at the ChatGPT article, I think it was at around like a 35 or a 38. Now let's take a look at the Google EEAT scoring of this article. I'm going to use perplexity to give me the EEAT score in the same way that I use ChatGPT to give me the score in this article. So now let's just run this through. Again, what I really like about perplexity is that it's telling me exactly how it's determining the Google EEAT score criteria. So it's looking at Search Engine Journal, Moz, SEMrush. Perplexity is not giving me a numerical score. It's just giving me um, scores from high to moderate. So in terms of experience, it says it ranks high, expertise high, authoritativeness moderate to high, and trustworthiness high. And um, it basically gives me the rationale for why it's making this ranking. You know, it, I wish it would give me a little more specifics in terms of this the scoring, but I can also go and look at each of these articles um, that it used to determine its scoring and basically compare it to the writing and determine if, if perplexity is accurate and how it's scoring the content. So that's really helpful. One other key difference, which is actually pretty important, is that 
uh, ChatGPT gives me these first hand experiences from pet owners and it gives me these like so-called you know real um real experiences from people called sarah johnson and mark and luna but it doesn't tell me where it got this information so i don't know if it's actually true if you look at uh, on the perplexity example it also gives me specific um like stories from real people right so in the perplexity article it says first-hand experiences a reddit user with a corgo i think it meant to say corgi owner and something from the campingdetective.com. But if I go into the perplexity article, I can look at the section, collect first-hand experiences from pet owners who camp with dogs. And it's giving me all of the links where it's finding these experiences. So if I click on the Reddit, I see, okay, this is a real person. Here's the Corgi, very cute. And here's this person giving me a real account of what it's like to camp with a dog and important tips. So this is one area where I think perplexity is superior to ChatGPT, is that I don't have to go searching around to actually to know if this is just some AI hallucination or if it's a real story. And I wanna include real information in my writing. So I really love this feature of perplexity. And um, I, I think it's like one of the standout features. Perplexity is going to tell you exactly where it's sourcing its information. And you can include those sources you can in, in your writing so you can link to these specific things in your writing and that's really helpful because that also helps you build authority whereas ChatGPT doesn't give you that right out of the box oh the last thing we're going to do is to generate some ai images for these articles and see how they look starting with ChatGPT, i'm just telling you to generate an ai image to use in the article on camping with your dog and press go and now it's going to spit out an image, and I'm gonna do the same thing in Perplexity. Two different image, um, AI image models. In Perplexity, I'm using Playground version 2.5, and then in um, ChatGPT, I'm using Dolly. And ChatGPT gave me a pretty decent image. It's not bad. Perplexity, however, it, the image just fails. Like, it just gave me a broken link to an image. So hopefully this video has been useful. There'll be links to my workflow and the video description and um, would love to hear anybody's experience with using ChatGPT Plus or Perplexity Pro. Thanks again for watching.